Hey guys, today we will be trying to record and what we will be doing is um, making this tier list. What this tier list is, is, um, is putting the miraculous characters into Hogwarts houses. And what, ha and what Hogwarts is is um there are four houses each valuing different thing i got this information off of google all the four are hufflepuff gryffindor ravenclaw and slytherin and google says that ravenclaws are intelligent knowledgeable and plan ahead and wit it slytherins are ambitious Courage, um, cunning, heritage, and resourcefulness. Yes. Gryffindors are brave, he helping others, and chivalrous. And Hufflepuffs are hard work. Um, I mean, they work hard, they're patient, loyal, and are uh, fair play. And so, first up is Marinette. The qualities that she yeah, this most, in my opinion, would be Hufflepuff, so I'm just going to put her there. Lila, she is definitely a Slytherin. Then, um, why is it always hard to remember the names? Alia, uh, I would say, yeah, Ravenclaw. Nino, who would be a Hufflepuff of, um, unknown, uh, Slytherin, um, unknown, Luca, you got keeping me, let's just get back, back. Okay, Luca would be a he Hufflepuff since Lu and if you um Kagami he Slytherin and Chloe Slytherin Tiki Hufflepuff Plague Plague would be a yeah he doesn't really fit into any. Okay, which one does he have any? Um. Okay, he has. He's loyal to Adrian. That's something. The only one thing, but it's more than nothing. Okay. Natalie. Uh, definitely a Hufflepuff. That's because she is loyal and. Always waits for. I mean, she's loyal and patient, patient to who Abiel aggressed, and now Abiel aggressed. Um. Normally, when I see him ranked, he's either in Slytherin, but I would have to say he's a Hufflepuff. Now, before you dislike the video, here's is my reasoning. Hufflepuffs work hard. Hard. He can't spend any time with his son because he spends lots of time working. Not to mention, he's he's busy acclimatizing people, running his own, own fashion designing business, and he's patient, patient with um and loyal. Um, I'll use a demonstration for patience and loyalty. He um to his wife in the um season two finale really not too many spoilers but but um but he's he scolds his son and for thinking that that he that natalie we could replace him i mean place her wife i mean his wife and at the time i they were 
were working together, and they were good friends. And so, the fact that he's that loyal to his to his daughter, I mean wife, just proves that he should be a Hufflepuff. Um, and I don't really have have anything for fair play right now, but. Uh, he's not very ambitious just or cunning thing for Slytherin. He's Slytherin because seriously his end goal is to revive his wife. We know nothing besides him. That is his whole end goal. Oh. His power his power is literally to give other people power well, and give them what they want. He does not care about that, and he only cares about bringing back his wife. If that's not ambitious, I don't know what is. He knows how to do what he wants to do. That's not ambition in my eyes. He's definitely 100% a Hufflepuff. Max Ravenclaw. He has the intelligence to create a game, and, and he has his own AI. Um, definitely Gryffindor with Kim, I think his name is, to memory. When he gets his miraculous, this, this, instead of being, being scared of the Kwame like everyone else's, this, this, to an extent, and he just makes faces at the weird monkey thing. Okay, moving on, Sabrina, Hufflepuff, she is definitely a Hufflepuff, and my reasoning is, is she obeys the every command of Chloe Ushua, and Ivan, um... I don't really know where to put him. Ah, uh, Master Fu. I would have to say he knows um stuff about the miraculous box. Looks, looks, and uh, yeah. Mm, I'd say. Uh, and Adrian, not a Hufflepuff because, as well, he's not loyal to his father. He literally he disobeys him once he <coughs> finds out that he's Hofmoth, and Hofmoth finds out that he's Cat Noir. Well, but in the Cat Blanc episode, so not Hufflepuff. Slytherin, he's not that resourceful. Gryffindor, yep, I'd say he's Gryffindor. And that's my final rankings. Wait, cool, I didn't realize you could alter these. I should probably put them in their right order, well, with the color. I'm not saying that Gryffindor is the best or Ravenclaw is the worst, but yeah. Bye.